Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. XRP is coming down lower into this support area and the current consolidation and price structure would suggest that we haven't formed a low yet. Okay, so um, yesterday I think it was uh, the day before that um, XRP broke below the 66 cent level. That was a crucial support level um, that it needed to hold to have a chance to make another high in the previous structure so basically in this third wave it could have made another high but needed to hold the 66 cent level for that however as you know if you watched the previous videos uh, xrp hasn't given us any any idea here um, that a low had already been formed so we couldn't call a low in place yet and so far this has been the right decision also now we're observing the relevant Fibonacci support levels here. By the way, I make that orange box a bit smaller because we have already um, come into the support area lower here. Otherwise, it's all orange. Yeah, and relevant support here is 62.3 cents to which price has reacted now. But it's not a convincing structure that I would say, um, okay, we're already turning around. At least I have no evidence here at this stage. Below that level, I've got 56.5 cents and I haven't got anything reliable bullish below that level. Um, what you can see here, we have some structural support here. Yeah, this wave one high um, could generate some support here. The previous, what I have labeled as a wave high could also provide some structural support together with the golden ratio, the Fibonacci support here at 56.5 cents. The reason for this support is that I'm saying, okay, the only way how I can see a more or less reliable five wave structure that could develop off the lows is if it forms currently a wave four in a larger diagonal structure where of the January low yeah, or December low, January low price is forming some kind of a diagonal structure. And we might call that an ascending broadening wedge here. Okay. Um, in which price could move higher in a diagonal structure. These diagonal structures oftentimes um, form these wedge patterns, broadening wedges as well. Yeah. What I can tell you is that I cannot really call it a reliable wave four anymore if price breaks below the 56.5 cent level. If it does that, I might have to consider that it topped in three waves here in this WXY structure, which would be potentially bearish. Um, and then it could go to new lows. Yeah, I would. We obviously below 56.5 cents. It could still find support at the trend line, but then we're already talking about 50 to 49 cents. And essentially, what we need to do is we need to be patient here. We need to watch for relevant re um, reactions to the relevant FIB levels. And here we can see that one more low is still likely. So the reaction isn't impulsive at this stage. So it suggests further downside. I would pay attention to this region between 56.6 and 58.5 cents. And if we break below that level, yeah, then maybe the trend line will become relevant. But if it loses the trend line, then we have just some structural support left. But it will then very much add to the idea that price just topped in a three wave structure WXY and will make new lows. OK, so. It's not very convincing at the moment. And even though we had an initial rally, a lot of profit taking took place. And so far, the bulls haven't shown up again. And I think the initial hype is over again. People are coming back into reality. Yeah, and as I always say, I would never be, um, I always I always urge people not to get too optimistic about a price move that is based on news or fundamentals. Certainly something that, was worth observing from a, and, and still is from a potentially uh, bullish point of view because obviously whenever you see something like that sentiment has a chance to come back and people might be more willing to you know to buy and invest only only demand is driving prices but we're currently dropping through support levels there is still this support level left and i'm currently observing this microstructure here w x y where we're now in the y wave and in the Y wave, an ABC structure, and then here in the C wave, another low is likely. And then with that one more low, together with the support that we discussed and an indicator, which on the four hour chart is pretty much oversold, okay, uh, we could get 
into a new uptrend or at least a local corrective rally. So some kind of a bounce would be expected from there. Um, another low could also lead to a bullish divergence on the four hour chart. So I'll focus on that for you. Uh, we also see the um, MACD on the four hour already turning to the upside, but the price isn't confirming that yet. So at the moment, I think one more low is reasonably likely, um, but we have entered support already, but one more low I think is reasonable to expect. And if it does that, it could form a bullish divergence, which is needed for a turnaround. Bear in mind that the XRP chart is much more fragile than, for example, the Bitcoin chart, Ethereum chart. It's just moving in corrective structures, ABC, ABC or WXY, uh, and therefore a chart where you just have to be ready for headwinds. I've said that many times, so it's just a more tricky chart and um, not one where, yeah, where, where um, you can find impulses at this stage, which would make it easy. Okay, that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.